Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, working on a Dell laptop here, and I'm going to show you how to deal with a couple different beep codes. Um, oftentimes, if your computer is starting up, before your computer turns on, while it's black, um, you may hear these beep codes. Uh, several beeps in a row, a combination of short and long beeps, whatever you're hearing. What these are on startup is these are codes that BIOS is giving you to tell you what's wrong with startup. Um, and if, as long as we can figure out what these codes mean, you can fix your computer. Uh, now keep in mind, these are not beeps that are while your computer's on and running. Those are, are usually operating system or hardware related. Um, that's something that your operating system is, is, is telling you. So if your computer is beeping while it's on, look below in the description. There'll be a link there how to run the Dell pre-installed diagnostic software. That will tell you what's wrong with those beep codes. These beep codes in this video are just when your computer is starting up uh, and they're coming from BIOS. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you two different codes if your computer beeps two times or if your computer beeps four times. These are some of the most common beep codes you'll hear. And usually they have to do with your RAM being bad. Um, so what you'd want to do on these types of beep codes um, oh, first of all, if these are not your beep codes, if, you're, if you think your computer's beeping in a, in a different code, uh, leave me a message down below um, and I'll let you know what that code is. And then as I make more videos for different codes, I'll put those uh, links in, in the description below so you'll be able to access them from any of the beep code videos. Uh, so again, if your beep codes are two or four code, or two or four beeps, it's usually your RAM. What you want to do is shut your computer, turn it over, uh, remove your battery if you can first thing if it's an external battery, and then you're going to want to get inside your computer. Most computers you'll have easy access panels somewhere where you can remove that one panel by removing some screws and you can get right at your RAM. If you don't have that, you'll have to remove your entire bottom case. Um, so you'll have screws that you can see. Sometimes there will be screws underneath your battery, as in this case. Sometimes there will also be screws underneath your DVD drive once you slide that out, there'll be screws there. Sometimes too, you'll have screws underneath your rubber feet, so check those out. Best case, uh, best thing to do, look up your specific model Dell um, and find out where a teardown or disassembly video is for your specific model. That'll give you very accurate step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to get inside your computer and limit uh, what you can do to break it. So get inside your computer. Once you're in, either by the access panels or by opening your computer up, you're gonna see your motherboard and you're gonna be looking for your RAM. And this is what your RAM looks like once you're inside. <laughs> Hard to get this in the middle, I'm just gonna turn my camera. So this is your RAM. Generally speaking, you'll have two RAM slots in a computer. They'll either be stacked or they'll be side by side. Sometimes you'll only have one RAM stick. Um, if you have one RAM stick, you're going to need to purchase another stick of RAM to perform this test. Um, and there's a, there'll be a link below in the description as well on how to purchase the correct RAM for your computer since not all RAM will work on all motherboards. So the way you would perform this test is we're gonna see if one of these RAM sticks are bad. So shut your computer off, uh, open it up, and then RAM is usually held in by two spring-loaded arms on either side. Pull those apart gently, and the RAM sticks pops up like that. And then you just slide it out, like that. Uh, so now that you have one RAM stick out, try to start your computer again. If your computer starts up, no beep codes, then you know this RAM stick was bad and you need to replace it. Again, reference the video link below, how to purchase RAM. If you find that the computer is still beeping, then we're gonna try the other RAM stick. So take the next one out and put this one back in. Press it in, nice and flush, and then snap it down, just like that. Now try to start your, RAM, uh, your computer again. Same thing, if it doesn't beep, you know that this RAM stick is bad and that one's good. Um, so hopefully this helps you with your RAM issue. Again, if you're looking for a different beep code, as I make m more beep code videos, I'll put the links down in all the current beep code videos. So if you're looking for a different code, let me know. And if I have a video, I'll send it over to you. If not, um, I'll find another one that exists or I'll, I'll just tell you what's wrong and how to fix it. So 
Hopefully this helped. If it did, please like and share. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, and if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.